This is the PartyPoker.com European Open 4. The field is narrowing. The semifinal and turbo tables are taking shape as we learn which poker stars and young guns will fight it out for that half million dollar prize pool. But a question remains unanswered. Will we have a repeat champion? Last year, Liam Flood fulfilled a lifelong dream by taking victory in the European Open 3. But if he wants to remain holder, he must fend off tonight not only a tough compatriot, but one of the top female players around. Can the gentleman crash the party? Never easy um, in any table you're drawn at, and uh, I think I have Liam Flood sitting on my left, which is probably the last position in the table. Uh, where I wanted him, in fact, I'd probably prefer he was at a different table. So that's going to be a little bit of a hindrance that I have to overcome. I'm here to defend my title, and it would be fantastic if I was able to do that. And uh, two hundred thousand dollars will pay a lot of bills, and my nieces and nephews will be delighted. And get more money. I played in the Women's World Open. I did okay in that. Um, messed up the final quite badly. Coming into this, I think it's a bit different. Uh, it's the same as, as far as nobody expects anything from me. I'm definitely the weakest player at the table, and I know that. But um, it's going to be a good experience playing such strong players, I think. I don't really know what it's like to be a professional poker player because I've never done it, but I enjoy the feel of playing poker. Texas Hold'em, I think, is quite an interesting game. It's quite quick. It requires, it's a lot of luck, but it also has a lot of skill. And it's just something that fascinates me. I think I've got a really tough table today. Marty Smith is obviously the Irish Open champion and he's got quite a few results in the TV format before. He's very unlucky not to win the Poker Million last year. And Liam Flood is just unbelievably dangerous in this format. I think he's one of the top players in the sort of studio-based six-handed TV format. So it's going to be tremendously tough. I'm here to uh, put my 55 second places into uh, into a, convert it into a win and to just get one in the net really so it's just it's time to it's time to uh, um, to get the money back defending champion taking to the felt here this evening and I am joined by one of the top British players in poker Roland, Roland the Wolf. <laughs> Hi, Roland. Hi, Jesse. Just back from the down under, I understand. Yeah, it's been a, a really nice end to 2007, and uh, 2008 has um, started really well in a, in a poker sense. So um, I just, just had a, a nice time, played in an EPT, and just really looking forward to seeing how this European Open pans out. Chips on the table, 100,000 in play, yellow's worth 1,000, blues are two. Reds 5k each, there's uh, 600,000, and of course, uh, the runner-up has a second chance in the turbos. Blinds one in 2,000, and uh, how's that seating going to work out with sort of Liam having the two sort of tougher players on his right in uh, Smith and Keston? I think it's, it's very nice for, for Liam. He, Marty Smith will know about about Liam and maybe look to trap if he gets a big hand, but Liam's just going just gonna to take it take this pretty easy. I mean, he's got he's got the position where he wants it. He's the most aggressive player on the table. He might steamroll about in front uh, and look to establish uh, a chip lead here. Oh my, look at this. Pocket kings and Keston's raised from the button. Now, Robin, when he's raised here, will naturally expect to be looking at a big pair. 17. You're unfortunate as well that, that it's Liam, because Liam, he knows Liam is more likely to, to do it. I also told Robin before this not to be scared. <laughs> he might just throw it in. <laughs> but I mean, uh, li Liam's not generally a move maker with the re-raise, isn't he? That's not... Morning. Oh my Call. gosh. Call. Oh my! <laughs> what is Keston doing here? <laughs> <laughs> That's my advice. <laughs> Roland, you're taking responsibility for this. <laughs> 
That's probably the first move that Robin Kessin has done in a level one of any of these tournaments. <laughs> Timing is everything. What is up with that? It's, that's not Robin <laughs> Keston's <laughs> MO at all, Roland. And I mean, did no. he did he just think that that's Liam was... Yeah, he did. He thought Liam was stealing and that's my coaching school. And he thought, you know, he can get him to pass ace-queen. I think uh, these, these, these two are very close. I mean, the defending champion here, Kings, all in. And uh, anything but the ace, and he will be a big favorite for this heat. On the other side, if the ace pops, Kessin will have nearly knocked him out. It's almost a 50-50 in these, for me at least. <laughs> There's the 10. Yeah. Well, they'd have played a big, the consolation here is that they would have played quite a big pot on the flop anyway. If well, five cards to avoid uh, for Flood. And Keston, uh, geez, he seemed in such good form when he came in this evening. Uh, he said he's ready to get one of these in the net. <coughs> such a... It's a, it's a play you'd expect from some people, but not from Robin Keston. I'm, I'm stunned. I'm stunned, Roland. Maybe he just decided that the Robin Keston of old is gone, and this is the new look, Well, Robin. he hasn't been getting any luck the way he was playing before, so, you know. Nice to the day, Oh, he done it! He has done it! And he's done it to the defending champion. Wow, that, that's a funny hand. This played out funny and uh, shocking on the river. You know, that, that was my coaching, you see. Sh shove it in with the worst hand. Hopefully they, don't, they won't call you. If they do, you can still, you can still outdraw can them. But wow, that's an interesting hand. <laughs> Robin Keston looks stunned. That's the story. That's the secret. Uh, He's only got a thousand left. <laughs> I shouldn't have called. You should. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Certainly. I'm certainly <laughs> glad I got <laughs> So much for defending your title. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Some story if you make it back from here. <laughs> Just call him Mr. Lucky. Robin Keston. Cracking the gentleman's kings with the all-in push before the flop roll it. That's How about that? <laughs> that's one way to crack him with the third ten as well. A poker player's life is generally very hard. Um, I'm not a full-time poker player, so uh, my life is fairly good and I've had good results in the last few years, but uh, trying to make a name for yourself in the poker community now is very, very difficult. You want a lot of luck. Welcome back. 195,000 for Kesson, runaway chip leader, and uh, Flood now all in in the small blind. Uh, this is just... Pass. I mean, really, the end was last hand, but he, he, he's going to stay at the table until that 1,000 is gone. <laughs> it's only 1,000 he's got. Wow. Okay. And uh, Bronwyn Campbell having the chance to say she knocked out the champ. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's got a very good chance. Oh. Yeah. Seen some quick oh. knockouts in this uh, format, Roland, no. but this uh, <laughs> is pretty amazing. Flood <laughs> doesn't feel it. I got a 10 now, I'd have a full round of the table. Does that just go to show you, um, Roland, that uh, there's some things, you, sometimes in poker you just can't do some things, there's nothing you can do about some things. This happens all the time, you know. Um, it's part of the game. Situations come up and you have to be very lucky in a poker tournament. The, be the best hand is, is never that much of a favorite. It's yeah. a pretty big favorite now. <laughs> Three eights. Uh, roll, Liam's out. Yeah, I mean, uh, most of the time, 60-40 <laughs> is... Uh,